Hi, everybody. Hi, this is John here. This is Paul. George. And Ringo. And we're very happy to be on your program once again. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest Beatles News Briefs. I'm your host, Steve Marinucci. On Tuesday night, many of Yoko Ono's friends showed up at Electric Lady Recording Studios in New York City to wish Yoko Ono a happy 86th birthday. Her birthday was Monday. Among those present were Elliot Mintz, Jody Denberg, Cindy Lauper, Patti Smith, Bob Gruen, Charlotte Kemp Mull, Sean Ono Lennon, and Yoko's daughter Kyoko from her marriage to Tony Cox. Elliot Mintz posted a collection of pictures on Facebook that included a video of Yoko singing and Sean playing guitar. We posted a 1998 interview we did with Yoko on Medium.com. Be sure to check it out. Happy birthday, Yoko, and many happy returns. On the day of her birthday, it was announced that John and Yoko's wedding album would be reissued on March 22nd to celebrate what would have been their 50th anniversary. The reissue will reprise the original with wedding photos, their marriage le- a, pic- a copy of their marriage lessons, drawings by Lennon and Ono, bedding- bed-in honeymoon photos, and more, and will be issued on limited edition white vinyl, CD, and digital formats by Secret Canadian Chimera Music and the Yoko Ono Reissue Project. The album was originally released in 1969 and was the couple's third experimental album-length record. The first batch of the Yoko Ono reissues came out in 2016, and included 1968's Unfinished Music No. 1, Two Virgins, 1969's Unfinished Music No. 2, Life with the Lions, and 1970's Plastic Ono Band. 2017 saw the release of 1971's Fly, 1973's Approximately Infinite Universe, and 1973's Feeling the Space. The reissues mark the first time the music has been available digitally. And speaking of Sean, uh, Claypool Lennon Delirium's new album, South of Reality, will be released February 22nd by Chimera Music. A&E announced February 20th that a new two-hour special on the making of John Lennon's Imagine album called John and Yoko, Above Us Only Sky, will premiere March 11th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Pacific Time. According to the release, it has unseat footage and interviews with Yoko Ono, Julian Lennon, photographer David Bailey, John Dunbar, who was married once upon a time to Marianne Faithful, Dan Richter, Yoko's neighbor and John, also John's former personal assistant, and studio designer Eddie Veal. Amy said that some of these individuals have not spoken on camera before. We saw part of the special today. And it's great to see John creating his music in a relaxed mood in, in the studio. And the sound is really wonderful. And speaking of Medium.com, we also posted another story on there this week. That It's a really beautiful story. Uh, Paul McCartney wrote a letter to Zach Nelson, the eldest son of Harry Nelson, is uh, being treated for cancer. And the whole story about how Paul found out and the letter he wrote to Zach and Zach's reaction is on the story. You can see it at medium.com. Thanks to Zach for talking to me. And the, the letter is just really beautiful. It's a really nice story. And one more Paul McCartney note. He announced Wednesday morning that there were still copies of the Egypt Station Traveler's Edition suitcase still available. If you go to his website, you can order them. Again, they're $360. And I won't run through all of what comes in it, but it's as far as new music goes, there's only three unreleased tracks. Ringo Starr and the All-Star Band will be one of the acts to perform during a weekend in August to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Woodstock in Bethel Woods, New York. Santana, who was at the original Woodstock Festival, will also perform, but reports say that the large festival originally planned has been scaled back. The Bagby Blu-ray is out on Shout, uh, by Shout Factory. You can find a link on our That's What I Want Beatles store page. We checked it out and it looks very good. The movie itself is one of our favorite about the Beatles films. It's very gritty and with some great performances and music. This Blu-ray is a good one to pick up. And we also want to recommend the latest issue of Magazine. It's a uh, a European ma- uh, magazine uh, about Paul McCartney. 
The latest issue has a cover story called Compositions 1956 to 2018. You can check it out. Uh, check out where to get it on the web. And also, there's a book you might be interested in that uh, just came. We just uh, were given a copy of. It's called It Was 50 Years Ago Today: The Beatles Invade America and Hollywood by Harvey Gabernick, which has some nice recollections of the time along with some nice vintage photos and graphics. We have a link for that on our That's What I Want Beetle page on Facebook also. Some chart positions from the Billboard issue of February 23rd on the Billboard 200. At 140, up from 165 is Abbey Road. 145, up from 186 is the Beatles 1 album. 181, staying the same is the White Album. Top Rock Albums at 21, up from 32 is Abbey Road. 22, up from 35 is the Beatles 1. 32 up from 34 is the White Album. Vinyl at number 25 re-entering the chart is the White Album. Catalog albums at 33 up from 45 is Abbey Road. And at 37 re-entering the chart is the Beatles 1. On the Artists 100 at 62 down from 60, the Beatles. Uh, On this day in history on February 21st, 1964, 24,000 rolls of Beatles wallpaper were flown to the USA to meet demand. On February 21, 1967, Fixing a Hole was recorded at Abbey Road. And on February 22, 1967, the Beatles recorded Lovely Rita at Abbey Road. Albums released this week, released on February 19, 2016, was Yoko Ono's I'm a Witch 2. That's it for now. You can catch our shows on fab4radio.com. Thanks, Matt. beatles Arama. Thanks, Pat. And also on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts. Please join our Beatles News and Information Group on Facebook for the latest in the Beatles world. And check out our That's What I Want Beatles Store page, where you'll find links for both our contributing editor, Candy Leonard's Beatleness, and my Meet a Monkey, Davy Jones. Uh, and we invite you to enjoy to join our Beatles Toppermost to the Poppermost message board at abbeyroad.proboards.com. The site is also available on the Tapa Talk app. And look for our next show, and please subscribe. We'll be looking for you. Till next time, this is Steve Marinucci. Be seeing you. that one market fab